if you don't click it just right the whole thing sure okay so any the whole yellow thing will disappear and this has happened to me more times than I can tell you so now just start over just double oops no don't double click because then you get all of that and then now you have to find a spot to click in to make that go away okay so just single click in to get that yellow box start over I have an older tool from my stash okay and then I remembered that it was somewhere back around there so now I'll listen so I want to try something okay now we're gonna grab that and we're gonna put it up in there so left click and hold the mouse button down and then jiggle this just a little bit until you see that bulb till you see this thing here don't let your don't uh, don't take your finger off the mouse don't 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 now move it up and then now you see this green line right here all right stick that in and then now you see this has moved to the back okay so anything that you add up in there there will be a green line where you can add it and anytime you want to go back and watch the video to see if it looks okay if it's cohesive then just go up to the top press the space bar and then watch what happens and you can edit in in this mode here if if you don't like this flower here then no ah okay just highlight the flower and press the delete key boom it's gone okay now it's not gone forever you can still go back down into your photos and find it and drag and drag flower thing while it's in this box shape click on the flower and then you get this pop out list and the precision editor I'm not quite sure what that is and the clip trimmer that's where you can go in and take some off on the bottom I think in the old iMovie thing you could add little bits of stuff if you cut off the rest of a word like hello and all you've got is hell then you could the old one you used to be able to drag that yellow out and then it would automatically bring in the rest of rest of the word the clip adjustments in here you can click you can do you can make it go faster you can make it go faster like like if you're going to be doing some um, some heat embossing and you're running the the fan the the heat gun then you can make this whole area and then click done and then you can watch this So just click done when you're done.
Now the clip that I've moved up here is right in here. And can you, all right, I'm going to mute this for right now. All right. Can you see the orange bar right in there? The orange bar. I'll have to look at this video to see if you can see it. But this, this orange bar means that that's a section of your video that has been moved up in here. And as you do more and more and more, as you take out more, then there that orange bar will be kind of all over the place. Big long section, a little bit, you know, it'll it'll hop around in there. Okay, so just continue doing that, listening, picking out what you want, highlighting it, dragging it and dropping it up there. Okay. Now, so go over here to this little bar and you press the title button and these little things will come in. Now, if you want to add the little pop-up things, that's okay. You can do that. That's these these little doohickeys here. So, you can grab one and put it up there. Oh, all right. It's it's throwing it out because there's already a tag thing in there. So, um, I'll put it up here in that one. Now, you see, do you see the blue that goes when I move this along? It's just the one third, all of it, and then the other third. This is a marker where this thing pops up. This thing will pop up during this transition. Okay, and then you see over here, you go in and and you click here and just type in whatever title you want. Hello there. Okay, and then click Done. And then come over here, press the space bar. Hello there. Okay, and you can make it be the whole thing. Just click on on that thing up here and you can pull it along until it goes the entire length. You see now that green line is all the way across. Okay, so just go back over and, and then hello there and it's going to stay for the duration of the of the thing. want to put in. Let's see, I'm about out of time here, so now I'm going to 
tell you what you do. Once you have your movie done, then you go up to share up here and you get a drop down list. You can automatically share this up to either Facebook or YouTube. Um, you have to be able to have access to your YouTube and your Facebook automatically and I don't like doing that. So I just go to Media Browser and I click that and then I always leave it as Medium and then I press Publish. Now this is only publishing to my hard drive. It's not going out anywhere. It's not being sent on the internet. Nothing is happening to it. Now this tells me that I have three minutes. It's going to take three minutes to make this movie.